so here I am. I'm on my way down to Boness Park here and I'm going to meet up with Megan Washington. She's a local artist, so let's see what she's all about. So Megan, do you want to introduce yourself and your art for me? Sure. Um, when I was growing up, my mom was an artist. And so I was immersed in this world of paintings and going to art galleries and uh, really immersed in the whole art scene. And thinking that all other kids had that opportunity as well, but when I got to school, I realized that not everybody's mom was an artist. Any kind of art form, I had a chance to explore it as a kid, which was really cool. So mom was an artist. My mom was an artist, yeah. And she was an educator. And so I grew up as well to, with a love of art and a love of teaching. And I was lucky enough to teach for about 10 years. I developed chronic migraines. So it definitely interrupted my ability to be able to work in the public school system. So I really embraced my art much more after that and um, found myself uh, exploring painting on canvas with acrylics, do kind of a surrealism, and then moved into abstract. It really forces you to try to create things that look like something that people have maybe never experienced before. Um, a few years ago, I started taking classes um, in graphic design, and that opened up a whole new world of art to me. And I got my dog Milo. I've left painting for a little bit. I find I leave it for a while and I'll come back to it with a fresh perspective. So for now, I'm doing um, digital art, and I found this great app that I can use on my phone anywhere I am. And so, because I love my dog and because I find he's my key to sanity, he's my key to the world, he gets me out, gets me social, I love dogs and so I started to uh, draw dogs in a digital format, which is completely different than painting on a canvas. And He wanted to be on camera too. Yes. So you're doing digital art now. And where are you finding your subjects? So I use a lot of photographs of Milo. Um, I have another dog named Hank that I use a lot of photos of him. My friends are very happy to provide me with photos of their dogs as well. And it's, you know, it, it's always, it's always nice when you can give them a gift back, a caricature, which is fun and happy and try and interject things like polka dots and fun colors and, you know, keep it happy and lively. I bet they love that. So Megan, how do you see the your art fitting into Boness? Do you see a, a way to integrate it into the community? Well, the one thing I love about Boness is that it's a, it's a dog owner community. People love dogs at the park. There's people playing with their dogs all the time. So there's a lot of inspiration in Boness for my art. So I would love to see an outdoor art gallery in Boness. I would love to see pictures framed and hanging on trees and, and just that outdoor immersive experience, almost bringing art beyond the walls of a normal art gallery. Yes. Yeah. I so agree with yes. you on that one. Yeah. You never know what we'll come up with. No, you never know what people will come up with. Yeah. And art is very contagious, I think. I think people see art and they're inspired in some way to create something themselves too. We're all creative need something to light that fire in us to get us to you know produce something. How would Bonas benefit from it? I think people benefit from art because it brings us together, it gets us talking, it gets us um, taking a moment to just stop and look and listen or read or hear. Um, it keeps us grounded and I think it also builds a strong sense of community as well. Like you, my fellow neighbor is an artist. We now have a new connection that we didn't have before. And I think that art does that. It brings people together. It gets us talking. It, it grounds us on a similar level. Um, we all went to elementary school. We all played in kindergarten with finger plates and things like that. And then when we grow up, we kind of leave those things, or a lot of us do. And I think, you know, when you have it infused into the, into the community, into the culture, Bonus Park. He does. I might know.